Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen. A story broke out yesterday, and uh, it's a sickening story, and it's sickening on, certain, on, on so many levels, and I'm going to break down these levels to you. This is the story that a lot of you guys have heard, and a lot of you guys have not heard. This is the story of a guy, this guy right here, who is a 30-year-old Ty Tyrone Garcelle Tunnel out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Shout out Philly. This guy right here took the life of this man right here, Eric Hansen. Harrison, 27 years old. He was a security guard in said Macy's that Tyrone Tunnel wanted to rob. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This guy was arrested and he's taken off the street, but he need to be shown the flowers immediately because of the way he did his crime and the reason why he went and took the life of said man, Mr. Harrison. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you and I'm going to come back and I'm going to say a lot of stuff that a lot of people ain't going to like, but I don't give a damn. Because the bottom line is this. Ain't nobody going to fix us but us. And when we do this uh, cleaning up of ourselves, a lot of us got to go. There are some of us out here that are beyond repair and, and can't even conceive doing the right thing in life. And I don't want to hear blaming somebody else or saying it's somebody else's fault or I ain't got no dad or anything like that because that story is old. We all know the difference between right and wrong. So there are some of us out there that willingly make these errors in life of committing crimes and stuff and like it. And sometimes we talk about it or rap about it or record it because we think it's cool that somebody got the balls to go up against the system or whatever you want to call it. Stupid stuff. Take a look at this and let's come back and talk about it. Back to news tonight is the new information of the deadly Center City stabbing that's rattling tourists and residents at the height of the holiday shopping season. Late today, prosecutors formally announced murder charges against 30-year-old Tyrone Tunnel in connection with that stabbing inside the popular Macy's at 13th and Market. One of the two security guards he allegedly stabbed, 27-year-old Eric Harrison, did not survive. The other, we now know, is still in critical condition. Tonight, city officials trying to calm on ease about safety in the city as we hear from that victim's mother about the sun. She is mourning tonight. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live outside that Macy's once again. Maggie, a lot of developments today. There has been Brian. I want to start with Eric Harrison's mother, who we spoke to this morning. She says she is heartbroken. She is missing her only son and her best friend. Later on this afternoon, we heard from local officials who are talking about the prosecution of retail thefts, like what happened here, and how to prevent escalations like this. I would just like to know why. Why my baby? Dawn Fobbs is missing her oldest child. Her only son, 27-year-old Eric Harrison, was killed while working his security job at Macy's yesterday morning. It couldn't happen to a more innocent soul, if that makes any sense. Like, just at work doing your job. You know, his second job at that. Police say Harrison stopped 30-year-old Tyrone Tunnel from stealing hats in the Macy's store on Monday morning and sent him on his way. Minutes later, authorities say Tunnel came back and fatally stabbed Harrison. He also stabbed an injured 23-year-old Christian Mitchell, a co-worker who tried to intervene. You brought him down. Uh, he was stabbed in the process. He's in, currently in... Uh, critical but stable condition. Tunnel then tried to escape on the subway, but was caught soon after at the Somerset station by SEPTA police. He was wanted in Delaware County and has a long history of theft, robbery, and drug offenses in the area. Today, District Attorney Larry Krasner says his policies for prosecuting retail theft work and that the DA's office is focusing on repeat offenders with a newly formed task force. If you're a prolific offender, we are going to charge all the higher levels. As for Harrison's mother, there is no consolation. The world we live in is senseless right now. And for somebody to come in and take my baby's life over a hat or you're angry that you didn't get away with the hats, I don't even know how to fathom it. Guys, that's the story about what happened to uh, Eric Harrison. 27 years old, lost his life just doing his damn job. And shout out to uh, Christian Mitchell who was a co-worker, uh, 23 years old, that tried to jump in and help 
and do something. He was stabbed twice. You know what I'm saying? That's good. I mean, not that he was stabbed, but I mean that he did something. That's the thing. He didn't stand around. He didn't have a phone out. He didn't do all of this other stuff. He saw a friend and a co-worker was in need and he did something and sacrificed himself. Now, he didn't meet the ultimate dem the, uh, demise as Ms. Harrison, Mr. Harrison did, but he did something to try to stop it. Now, let's get on this guy, Tyrone Tunnel, idiot of the year. You went in the store to steal hats. Hats. Holiday season, you in there stealing hats. If somebody don't show this man the daisies right now, I swear to God. Swear. Some of us are beyond repair. This thing right here is hard for me to process. It's nothing he can say or, or, or tell me that makes sense of any of this. He got caught stealing. They let him leave. They was going to let him go. Usually you get caught stealing. They hold you down until the cops come. They caught you stealing. You put the stuff down, walk away, check your own ego, get mad, come back with a knife and stab the man that stopped you from stealing the hats. Doing his job. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You know what I think? Because I'm from up there. Camden, New Jersey. Stand up. Sing MD. What up? I think he, being a tough guy, saw what he looked like and felt as though he was better than he was or he was tougher than he was and how dare he do this. And this dude felt like a punk and went back and did something to him because he felt as though he would stop. Think about this. You went in a store to steal, got caught stealing, and then came back and killed the guy who stopped you from stealing. If we don't have a sense of reality nowadays, you see a bunch of people running in stores, masked up, taking whatever they want and running out. Now you see this dude watching them, wanting to do his thing, go in there, his plan backfires. You come back, you go and think about it, get mad, come back, stab the man up in the store because you feel as though he made you feel a certain way by stopping you from committing a crime. Then you try to run out of the store Get on a subway train and get caught by some the police. Make that make sense. You didn't even have a getaway car to go in there and commit carnage. All you did was go back to your savage nature. That civilized people try to quell within themselves by using reasoning, something men are taught at a young age. Obviously, you missed that lesson. And now you're going to sit up here and all of a sudden you're going to come back and uh, 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 take that. Let me just jump on the train. I'll mix in with everybody else. See how dumb he was when they, was put, when they had him up there handcuffed? Looking stupid. Looking stupid and confused. Willful error, people. Willful error is what we, we're dealing with right now. It's like wrong is right and right is wrong. And if you speak up about it with the cancel culture, and trying to get people off a of, uh, social media platform for saying the wrong things and stuff like that is you're the bad guy. How did it ever come to this? How did it ever come to this? How did this become acceptable? Seriously, leave me a comment. Tell me how this became acceptable. This man stabbed a man for stopping him from stealing, doing his job as a security guard. Lost his life. Now we got his mother on here talking about how beautiful of a soul he was. And he was just doing his job. I think they said he worked at the post office. This was the second job for him. I guess around the holidays. It's hard enough to work one job, guys. Let alone two. Obviously, he was working for something. Just like you and I. He was a regular uh, citizen out here in the rat race. Running the hamster wheel like everybody else. And to have some dude that's scared to even take the first jogging step on that wheel, on said wheel, to come and do that. Unacceptable, man. When does this stop? For real, when does this stop? Now, granted, there will always be evil as long as there is good to fight it. 
That's just the balance. But I mean, something like this. Come on, bro. You could have picked another place to steal or reconstituted your plan next time you went back in there. But no, you felt a certain type of way because the security guard stopped you in your efforts of stealing. And you had to come back and show him that your balls were bigger than his in the most stupidest way possible. They need to take this dude outside and set him on fire. And you know what's messed up? People that pay taxes will pay for his three square meals a day. Him sitting in there, he'll probably take a plea because they'll offer a plea, even though it's a violent crime. They'll offer him a plea because don't nobody want to spend the money to uh, fit a trial. So they'll come with a plea deal. And this whole thing will go away. And these lawmakers are a joke, man. You got to look at each case individually. Not the action, but the reasoning for said action. And his actions, his reasoning is up. You can <laughs> He was stealing hats, y'all. Stealing hats. You going to prison for stealing hats and then coming back and killing the guy who tried to stop you from stealing hats. Make that make sense, y'all. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. May uh, Eric Harrison rest in peace, man. You know what I'm saying? Just doing his job and stuff like this hurt my heart because, I mean, it, it could have been any of us. Could have been any of us. <sighs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.